What's up guys, Cosmic Contender here, here for another video. Last time we created the ability to build our wizard house and we're going to give it a little bit of game juice per se. And by a requested user, he wanted something happening when the it was building. So what we can do here is two things. We can show a, a progress bar of the units being built and as well as an animation player to go along with that. So we're going to move the animation player outside of the progress bar. Go to our progress bar. We do not want the percent shown. We can go drag this to be a little bit smaller, put it above our building. Let's make it a little smaller. Okay, awesome. And this should be okay. All right. And then we want to, because of the way we structured our wizard building, it's going to affect all of our, our static body 2D and the sprite itself. If you wanted to fix that, you would have to make a parent of the wizard building and then use an, um, get everything outside of this, outside of this, the sprite. But for now, we're just going to use the animation player to make it do a little bit of fun little animations. So we're gonna do building. And so we're gonna make the shack kind of shake as it's building. And so we're just gonna do point four. We're going to click on our wizard building, make sure your animation is open. On our first, we're going to, on our first frame, we're going to set it to uh, one, one, that point one. So make sure this is unchecked. We're going to do 0.9. All right, and that 0.2. So we'll back to 1, 1. And it's not saving. Go back. back to 1, 1. Put that in. All right, and then 0.9. All right, there we go. Put the loop on. Click this to animate by default for now. And there you go. One thing you can do to make it a little bit like more organic is to use cubic instead of being linear. It will kind of smoothen the transition up and down. As you notice, even the progress bar is being affected by this animation because it's a child of the sprite. All right, now we want to affect the sprite. So one thing we need to do is uh, get this timer to not be auto start. We're going to make it a little bit longer so you can see this working. Then we need to go to our wizard building script. And we want both of these. Oh, we have animation player in already. Uh, I want the progress bar in here. All right. And then on the building is set. We want to start our timer since we've now had it not be going. So we want spawn. Oh, that's another thing I'm missing. We need to drag in spawn timer. Spawn timer is already on ready bar. Spawn timer dot start. And then progress bar dot max value is equal to spawn timer dot um, time left. Save that. All right, and then we want to use this process function that we left in here. And we want progress bar dot value is equal to, and then to make this work, because we're going to be subtracting the time left by, oh, time. Oh, it's not timer, it's spawn timer. I apologize. Spawn timer dot time left minus progress bar dot max value. I want it as an integer. Well, we can see if it will work without as, as an integer, but let's try it to see. And this will fill up our progress bar as the timer is going. So again, make sure your timer is set correctly. Let me see if I can pull up my inspector. So I have eight seconds. You want it uh, more than one. Um, so let's go to our scene. World scene, okay. Open, 
so p so right now it's just kind of building um we could set it all right so now it's going up and up and up as time goes on and then after eight seconds we should see a unit pop out awesome so that's how we have our our building going one thing we can do is um change our script sorry excuse me so first go back to our animation player let's make this the default animation and then this will not be the default animation and we can go and type animation player dot play and building okay all right and then let's hit play hit b so now it's not no longer doing that and now when we click it it'll start building our units it's going to get kind of jittery because we're using pixel art and um, scaling isn't perfect with pixels uh, within Godot. If you have any suggestions that you would like to see within this tutorial, please let me know. I'm very open to it. I respond to every comment. And if you have any questions about um, the tutorial or tutorials for the future, please let me know as well. Thank you so much. Cosmic Contender, out.